So I recently had somebody ask me, how do you desensitize a horse that's dangerous? If they're uh, overreactive, if they're kicking, if they're striking out, how do you do that safely without hurting your, yourself or your, your horse? Um, this particular horse is overreacting when I expose him to plastic bags. So I'm going to use him as a demonstration. I'm going to show you some of the things that we can do to expose him to something in a safe manner without compromising his or my safety. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, so you can see how reactive he is, I'm just going to bring that bag up to him and let you see how he reacts. Um, typically, the way that we do this is we graduate that horse through different little mini lessons so that he learns how to accept the bag. So I wouldn't just flood him with the bag and make him deal with it. I'd kind of gradually build up his confidence so that he becomes more comfortable when I expose him to that bag. But again, for, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna throw that bag out there and let you see how he reacts. Go in there with that bag, he starts moving around. He's pretty snorty, easy. Him. that hind left foot so you can see he's pretty aggressive with that bag and so I don't want to put myself in a position where he can hurt me or where he's going to end up getting hurt so one of the first things I need for my horse to be able to do is to yield away from pressure that I exert on him because once I bring that bag into play he's not going to be thinking so much about what I'm asking him to do as much as he is of that scary object that I'm introducing to him. Now if he were so bad that he was striking out at me I'd want to hold my rope out to the side and put a little pressure for him to move laterally away from me as I apply that pressure. Just a second ago you could see how reactive he was to that bag but when I change the way that I approach him with it, it's going to completely change my pony's disposition. So I'm going to come back here. First, I'm going to get him moving laterally, try and get some nice, good softness throughout his body. Good. And now I'm going to gradually add that bag in. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to get some more lateral movement here. There, he's crossing over, moving laterally around me. And I maintain it good. He's nice and soft in that shoulder again. I took the pressure away, took a deep breath. I'm going to give him a little bit of line there. Again, any way that I can take that pressure away helps to let him know that he's made a good decision. This time, I'm going to get a little bit closer. So I'm going to bring that back in. Again, you can see he's not comfortable with that at all. But I'm going to go right back to the lateral movement there getting those feet moving and you see he has to be thoughtful about his movement here as he's crossing over and so he's going to be more thoughtful and more rational about how he sees the plastic bag again my horse is acting completely different than when I just came after him with that plastic bag and tried to flood him with all of that stimulus to make him accept it I'm much better off if I set my horse up to be successful by getting him to be thoughtful and methodical in his thought process. <sighs> Good pony. Good boy. The thing is, if I can move my horse's feet and get him desensitized to a scary object, then he'll certainly be okay standing still and dealing with it as I apply pressure. And this has just been a couple of minutes of working with him here. So it was only a moment ago that he was trying to kick my head off with that back left leg. And now I can go back there and rub it, get that bag all over him. And it only takes a little bit of time. The key is to be very fair with them. And what I mean by that is when I apply pressure and he's relaxing, even at the least bit, I'm going to take the pressure away, let him know that he's made some good decisions.